Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am attempting to do something that I have not done this month and it's halfway through the month, so it's kind of surprising. I'm going to try to do a path of the side quest that seems very confusing. It kind of reminds me of the gates of rifts, but with different words. If you're about to spend a resource to open this gate, if you quit the quest or run out of time prior to completing it, your progress will be reset, but any spent resources will be fully refunded. So. Let's just try this opening fight. It only has a few days left, which is kind of surprising. If the attacker is a hero champion, they gain superiority. Swing and a miss, faltering mine, blah, blah, blah. So Hercules, I believe, happens to be hero, which is convenient because that's who I, of course, normally use as an attacker anyways. And I actually got that in there. Now, I'm always wondering, like, should I let myself get knocked down to gain the third? I don't know. I'm also giving him the falter, although, ironically, my skills just faltered. So I took a good chunk of health. Because I have spent so many units and so many revives on Winter of Woe fights and attempting and failing at, uh, some of the Karina's challenges, I have kept Recoil Masteries off. I don't love it, especially in the arena. Um, okay. I still find this side quest just to be so confusing, and part of the confusion is just how many dang side quests there are right now, and how some are about to close, and others are not. Now, of course, that's partially because... Ooh, look at this incinerate. All right, this is not good. This is not good because I'm fighting terribly. That's, let me just, sometimes you can say, oh look, Kabam's messing up. And maybe that's true, but not here. Here it's just me not fighting well. But the good news is when you have a rank six, AKA ascended six star Hercules, who has no chance to be a seven star ever. I think Magic and Quake are gonna be six stars before Hercules is going to be a 7 star. I don't think that's a bold statement. Okay, so... Now we're fighting. Joe can't fix his own tie. Even the, the layout of the paths in this is bizarre. Okay, he's got stun immunity to start out. I'm guessing it's that one node where you rotate immunities every few seconds? Question mark. Yeah, it is. This is where willpower can really help. Look at that region. Mm -mm -mm. 284 a tick. But I got rooted. Dang, that was a lot of block damage. All right. I guess you could say I have conquered it so far. It's a very strange experience, that's for sure. All right, now we're going to group. Groot looks very shady, literally. Look at this guy. Oh, and I missed the intercept, and now I'm in the awakened ability, which is not going to help me at all because I need him to fire specials. There we go. Okay, I need him to fire one more. Come on. Look how passive this group is being. Three attempts, four attempts, there we go. And then when I fire the special two. Oh no. So basically I just need to fire him to fire one more special. And then yeah. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to lose that fight. So that uh, that was not, I mean, Groot is Groot, but that was, that was not the best skills I've ever showcased, but it was pretty good survivability. Now we're going down here for Mr. Fantastic. So this side quest also just gives you more fights than usual. 
Might as well look at these. Flail, enhance parry, buff synthesis, make a stand, evasive maneuvers. Let's try Hulk for this. All right, got the protection done. So of course he's gonna have that evade. There he goes. Now let's see if we can do a special one and lock it in. God, I love Hulk. I'm gonna try to, there we go. That was a much more aggressive AI. Love to see that. And look at how much he is being stunned. This is where Hulk just becomes like the ultimate cheat code. This is also why you will see more and more champions have stun immunity when it comes to specials to negate a huge part of the utility of both Hercules and Hulk, which ironically, or maybe not so ironically, are two of the champions that I use the most. All right. I think we're almost done. This is a really fascinating experience. Parry vulnerability, re red lining, dazed and confused, encroaching stun. Okay. Why do we play this game and spend so much money so that we can have somebody like OG Hulk, who our beloved Mama Bear is also planning on taking to rank three? Really smart decision, Mama. Block that. All right, you see how that encroaching stun is almost encroaching on us? Oh no, and now it's gone away. That was so stupid. Now I'm gonna be stunned. I'm gonna back out as much as possible so that I can take away some of that damage. Okay, so that did almost no damage. That's kind of hilarious. Still at 97% with the willpower, really helping me. All right, this is this is the easiest fight of any of the ones we've done. All right, now are we gonna to get to go to Null? Maybe? Yes. Exploration of this map, it kind of feels like the old celebrity challenges where you could either go straight to the boss or if you want to explore it, you have to do something, uh, you have to do them all at once. And really what I should have done is start this with, because I don't have recoil masteries, I actually start with Nick Fury, so when he gets knocked out, I can kind of benefit from him being knocked out. But... This may have to work. Remember that the relic is truly incredible, but now he's got stun immunity, but he did not fire it. Okay, so I'm waiting for him to knock me out. I can't hit him. 75% damage is really good. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. Let's bring in Herc and see if we finish off with this very little health left. The big question is, is this worth it? Because I'm using rank 5 or technically rank 6, in this case, ascended 6 stars, and rank 2, in, in Hulk's case, rank 3, 7 stars. And it was still, you know, itemless. I wasn't really ever sweating. But one could say it was not the most relaxing experience of my MCOC career. I think that's fairly accurate and that was all for 12,000 mysterium trade mysterium all right so let's just see i'll probably need to do a separate video on the best values for your mysterium now that i've uh gotten some but let's go back even the Mysterium thing is, is very confusing to me. Okay, so let's just say all I do is the threat level fives, and that's it. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times 12,000. The minimum, assuming it's just the same in each, and who knows if it is 84,000 Mysterium. How much does 84,000 Mysterium get you? All right, 5,000, 10,000 is 15,000. 15,000 plus 16,000, 31,000. I 
and then plus another 8,000 is 39,000. So, yeah, it would get you enough to get everything if you explored threat level five. And then I kind of tend to get a little confused with the way that we get these, um, these, not the nullifiers, but the flower powers. How many of these do we get? Oh, okay. So 15, 17, 19, 20, wow, 28. So 28, I guess in theory, you could look at it this way, that if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, your goal should be to do all of the difficulties of Throw level five, four, three, and two. Don't do one, but if you do that, 28 would give you four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. The ability to do four out of five of the threat difficulties. And I would, obviously I think you should do the, if you can, the, the ones that give you the most side quest currency. It's very confusing and pretty hard, which I guess is the goal. But when you look at the store, the reward store especially, it just feels kind of mid, as the kid would say. Like, tier 5 class catalyst fragments, I, I don't really care about those. Five-star relic crystal shards, don't really care. Where are the seven-star shards? Why are these six-star six stones not generics? In that case, this should be way more than a limit of two because that's the best one and then you've got um more basic alloy selectors it just feels like this month's side quest is the definition of mid that's my takeaway thanks for watching have a good one